Welcome back to White Mountains Today. I've got Yvonne Meisner here, and she's with the White Horse Addiction Center. Um, and welcome to the community, because you guys just bought the building in North Conway. It's uh, right across from Delaney's, yes. and it's this beautiful carriage house, uh, yellow and green, a lot of parking, actually, in the back that you don't see from the road. Right. Um, and uh, But your original location was in Oss or is in Ossipee, I should say. Um, so you, that one's dubbed the Shed, and now we've got the Shed North in North Conway. Right. And yeah. so you guys, um, you have a silent auction dinner coming up that we're going to talk about a little bit later. But first, just let our viewers know what you are and, and who you serve and what you guys do, because I don't think a lot of people uh, in the Valley know quite what it is that, um, that you guys are offering for the community, which is fantastic. So if you just want to tell us a little bit about that, that would be great. Sure, yes. We, um, White Horse Addiction Center is an addiction center for all those that are seeking for recovery from addiction of drug and alcohol. Um, we service them with um, counseling, individual counseling, group therapy, IOP, which is intensive outpatient programs. Um, that is the clinical side. We have about four late acts, um, and we're getting two more that will be licensed soon. So it's really growing. That's down, and they're up here. We bring them up here in Conway. We, we're filling all the spots and the slots necessary. Um, the recovery centers, uh, our recovery community organization, the Shed and the Shed North, are both walk-in, like peer-to-peer -peer centers. They do not do the clinical. They, don't di they don't, do not diagnose and all that. That's done on the clinical side. It's a walk-in place to come in for anybody who, it's a resource center. In other words, if you need help, we'll help you get help. If you need de detox, we'll send you to detox. If you need um, a bed, which we, right now we don't have in-house um, residential, we will get you there. We have transportation, because we have a van now that we do transport people. Um, if you feel that you want to start getting um, recovery or counseling, then we send you over to the clinical side. So the awesome. resource center, and also resource center is just if you need to come and hang out because you know you don't want to use, you want a cup of coffee. It's peer to peer. We have AA class, AA meetings. We have NA meetings. We're going to be starting a family support group soon. So and um, there's probably a few more that I'm not, you know, where we have family Friday nights. Fam is family night five to eight. The client, the um, guests come in. They do their um, own cooking and they have games. Oh, nice. and we have all kinds of special things, you know, each or movie night, whatever they want. So it's really um, it's a hop, it's hopping, but um, it's a place where we want to provide. It, um, and we do not turn anybody away, whether regardless of their ability to pay or not. Um, and we give clothing, food, uh, whatever the need is that we have that we can. Um, Give away. That's for the awesome. Meat. It's yeah. fantastic, and um, and that building was vacant not too long ago here in North Conway. So you guys have been here for what? Maybe our grand month? opening was in October. Okay, yeah, so less than a year. Yeah. Yeah, I think I had I'd seen in the newspaper about you guys, but uh, it's so nice to meet you in person. You guys are offering a great service for the community, and you were talking about um, the two hubs being uh, pretty far away from each other, and now the spoke of the wheel, if you will, is is this central location that you guys have created here yes. in the valley. Yeah. Um, and so and and. Uh, you were talking some numbers to me earlier. You had three three thousand drop-ins, walk-ins last year, and you served uh, over a hundred clients. Well, the three thousand visits, visits for the actually just the recovery center, the walk-in place visits. So it means like one person can come a multiple of times, or yep. one person can just come once, or you know three times. So we just tracked we tracked the visits. You know the people coming, whether that's repeat or it's one time only. Yep, and, and then. 197 clients. Oh, so basically almost 200. Yeah. That's fantastic. For the year last no, I year. I mean, not that there's that right. much of a need. That's not fantastic, but that's great that you're serving that many people. Right. And we currently, 60 to 70 uh, clients per week that we are serving right now. Wow. And um, I mean, yes. It's a good thing, but you know, it's we want to see people get healthy. Yes, we want to have a place. There's nothing in here, you know, nothing as you'd well know in the Carroll County, the northern, in the middle of the state up here. There's um, no, 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 no real support. So we, um, Mitch and the co-owner, um, the co-founder, the founder and the CEO, um, started this. Uh, got you know, I think at the end of 2014, finally, you know, got you know his nonprofit, and we opened up. Um, Right then, you know, so it's almost been five years. Wow, where we've been trying, you know, establishing and working, and uh, it's been a great journey, you know, challenging, 
um, you know, the situation is not a, you know, a, a great healthy, it's a sad situation that we have in this country, let alone this state, let alone this county. Um, but the good news part is that we are offering things that people do not have to stay in addiction, that they could come and have recovery because there are resources that are finally being implemented in this area. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And earlier when you were mentioning AA and NA, I believe AA stands for Alcoholics yes. Anonymous and NA is that narcotics? Yes. Anonymous? Okay. Yes. Just so people that might not be familiar sure. with the terminology. And um, and so do you and you guys host those meetings in house? Actually AA and a, they yeah they host them we don't obviously oh, okay. you know and yeah, yeah. they they borrow a church they borrow a building whatever they're they're a separate entity yeah, yeah we just offer yes we offer the space got it to got have it. them fantastic so, yeah. and it's a beautiful space you guys have it is it's and then you guys have I mean because you're, you're giving away so many things for free and you're doing you having people come in that can't pay that you're offering services to yes. so you've got to obviously raise some money um, and you guys have this fantastic it's the fourth annual freedom event silent auction and dinner it's on May 10th 5 to 8 30 p.m. Yes. sounds like a fantastic event yes it's going to be held in Ossipi at the first congregational church of Ossipi oh nice but it's great we last year was so I mean we had a couple of speakers um, and the governor showed up and just Aww. came like and it was awesome. It, we had a great, great time. Uh, we had a couple of speakers, Chucky Rosa from Chucky's Fight, and what he does, he's down in the Seabrook area. He does the, um, the fighting and the addiction with his program down there. Um, he helps the, uh, the younger kids. Um, so, and, and we had um, uh, Marty Bolin, who was his assistant on prevention at the time, drug. So it was really, it was a good thing. You know, good. the dinner was good. The auction was great. We have great, great things to bid on. And it's gr it's a great time to come together and celebrate, you know, at least celebrate, you know, what, you know, the success of, of the people that have been helped and the people that are getting healthy. And that's a great t thing to celebrate. Yeah, that is a fantastic yeah. thing to celebrate. And it's a nice way to break up the mud season for people to go have something fun to go and, and a great support right. uh, to support a great cause. You know what I mean? And the um, food, the and food, food, the dinner is great. You know? It's going to be hosted by Jonathan at River's Edge nice. in Ossipi. And he does a great job. It's always delicious. Oh, good. Yeah. And, um, and raffles. We have raffles and we make baskets of raffles. And it was just Ooh. a fun bidding. With the raffles of fun, you know, the penny raffle yeah. as well as the silent auction. So it's there's a great a variety of things. Yeah. And then um, and then you said you have a normal meeting that happens regularly, right? Is it that the family meeting that happens every evening? Oh the or the Oh you the I'm um, sorry, the Friday night family yes. nights. Yes. yes. The mm. Friday night family nights. You come and you they do their own cooking, there's a special dinner, you know, they do it themselves and they can do um, a movie night, game night, whatever they want to do. this is every Friday? Every Friday. At, this one is at the Shed in Ossipi. Okay. We will be incorporating that up in North Conway. Just haven't got that going yet. Yeah. But they're more than welcome. Anybody's welcome to come. Oh, good. That sounds yeah. fantastic. Yes. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure we covered everything because you guys are doing such a great thing to offer this service to our community. Um, is there anything that I'm forgetting to mention that we want to make sure to mention to our viewers before? Um, I let you go. Just to let them know that it's here, um, that we are definitely working and, and, and growing and vibrating because, I mean, we've got almost six, I think at least going to have six LADAX, could be more. Um, we have recovery coaches. Uh, we're here to serve the community. We are assisting right now. Uh, we're working with Memorial Hospital nice. and um, Angostragan. Um, Agus in, yes, Anders, Anders, Anders Goggin, I know. <laughs> Pronunciation is so not my forte know, either. <laughs> so that they know that we are support, we're there to support them and, you know, we're working together. The community has been such a collaboration. I've never gone to so many now um, collaborating meetings of networks of businesses um, in, in faith-based ones and we're all coming together to work because this, the governor actually called some of the faith-based um, communities and said what can we what could you do to help because they knew you cannot we all have to be in this together yeah, and the yeah. Good Samaritan Network has has been brought out of that and you can look up that up online Good Samaritan Network and so we're all coming together and we're going to see what the churches can do what the businesses can do um, local businesses, uh, st state agencies, 
and I have been going to those meetings that have kind of penetrating and is bringing some of the hospitals in. So really, it's not about dividing. It's about bringing together. It's not about you know this is your your my this is my territory. We have to work together because this is this is we are so behind the eight ball with this. This is so overwhelming. This is huge. It's going. It's you know it's already overtaking much of the lives of everybody um, in this community, in this state, in this nation. So what little bit we can do here, whatever, to help make an impact is what we're doing. That's fantastic, and it's all about collaborating, and that's what this community yes. is really great at doing, is coming together for good causes. Um, and then you guys are located, your exact address here in North Conway is 2977 White Mountain Highway. You're right yes. across from Delaney's. Yes. Uh, what is your website if people want to go check you out online or, yep. or uh, contact you directly? Well, www.whitehorseac. Dot com. Okay. AC is for Addiction Center, Got so it. it's whitehorseac, one word, dot com. All right. And you'll get up some more information. We have just launched a brand new website, so there's a few tweaking things, but I got to do, and but it's, it's, it's there. Functioning. It's, it's there. functioning. It's functioning right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so nice to have you on the show. Yeah, Thanks for coming. You too. And uh, I love to hear more about it. Uh, make sure you check them out online. It's www.whitehorseac.com. Yes. And, uh, and we'll be right back. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.